Hey guys, hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to solve the last challenge of our basic join series. So the name of this challenge is confirmation rate. And here we are given with the two table of signups and confirmation. And as you can see, we have the confirmation rate of a user uh, is the number of confirmed message divided by the total number of requested confirmation message. The confirmation rate of a user that didn't receive any confirmation message is zero. So round the confirmation rate of a tool decimal prices and write a solution to find the confirmation rate of each user. Then result can be in any order. So this is the input. Here are the user ID with the timestamp. And as you can see, there is an action with two kind of status timeout and confirm. When you just see the user ID and the action, there is the user ID of seven that has four atom of a confirmed status that means the rate of a confirmation of seventh id is 100 percent that is 1.00 but when you see the last two records of that table the first is confirmed and the second is time out so the second user id has a confirmation of confirmation rate of 50 percent that is 0 0.50 so this is the question that we are going to solve right here and here we are given with two tables so we have to write the query with the select um, and we just have to put the column name as s dot user id now we are going to round off the confirmation rate so where are we going to give the confirmation rate with the decimal places with two decimal places so here we are using the round keyword and the sum and we have to place the case when the action is confirmed then it should return one else it should return zero right and we have to divide it by two as given in the instruction right so divided by two that means the count or uh, the entire record that are already available in the table so we have to round off at two places two decimal places so we have to give the integer number as comma two for rounding of the number for the two places and give the column name as confirmation rate right now this is the column that we need to extract from the table from signups and the aliases s put the left join right here and write the column name that is confirmations c on as dot user id is equals to c dot user id and here we are grouping by the column name with the name of user id and we have to run the program for the first time and it is showing us the error that is test dot confirmation doesn't exist so here we have just done the typo mistake now we have to run the query again and the case is wrong i guess there is a single mistake in the naming convention we have to write the confirmation rate correct as given in the output right so when we just recorrect the name it just accepted the case Just submit that code and check whether it is accepting or not. And you just click over the submit button. It has submitted the code. So meet you in a next video with the next challenge. <laughs>